In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a DWM window manager on Debian testing. So let's get started. I have already prepared a, a VM. Uh, actually, I prepared a VM, but uh, it's not different than using it on a real uh, bare metal hardware. All you need is a pen drive and uh, you need to uh, write the ISO, uh, Debian testing ISO using either each on Windows or uh, DD in uh, Linux and you can find a lot of references on how to create a bootable uh, USB stick. Once you have that uh, USB stick, you just put it in a USB port, restart your computer and select the boot device as a USB and then you will be presented with the Debian installation menu which I will uh, start now. So this is the menu it will bring you. Here we will uh, select install, select language, English, uh, select your country territory. I will be selecting Canada, uh, a key map to use. Uh, in my case, it's American English. Give a host name. I will uh, leave it as Debian. Uh, if you have a domain, enter domain name. I set a root password in my case i don't prefer to set a root password uh, leaving empty will disable the root account and that's what i prefer so i will not enter root pa password i will just hit hit enter uh, re-enter password same thing hit enter key now give the user account in my case i'm giving my name uh, enter your username and now enter your sudo password i mean the password for this user which will be used as a sudo as well Select your time zone. Eastern is my time zone. Here, select the disk. Now, this is the step where you have to select your uh, disk. You, you have multiple choice. You could create uh, partitioning using manual steps, which is the last option, this one. Or you can uh, use the guided and let system uh, decide on creating partition. So I'm going to use the guided option, use entire disk and let system partition them. Mm, you can uh, again you have option to select whether you want to uh, uh, create a separate partition for home and separate partition for a uh, root and uh, you know uh, other other partitions so in my case i'm just gonna say all files in one partition and then finish partition and then write changes to disk Okay, uh, if you have any extra installation media for uh, drivers, you could use that now. In my case, I don't have any, so I will say no. Then select appropriate uh, archive mirror. In my case, I'm selecting Canada. That's the place uh, where I live. So that's the nearest. Then you can again select the uh, repo. If you have a proxy, enter proxy information. I don't have any, so I will just continue. no default option i don't want to participate in a survey now on this screen uh, if you want to install any default uh, desktop environments you can select but the whole purpose of this installation is to install dwm windows window manager so i'm going to uncheck these by using spacebar and i'm going to check the ssh server so i uh, i will have ability to ssh into this server later and with that i will continue again it should not take a long because we did not select a lot of packages. It's just the base a basic system and that's it. So we have uh, everything. This installation is complete. So continue. So instead booting from the USB uh, drive, now uh, we are booting, uh, booting from the disk. So this will uh, bring into a console. Let's set the found uh, using set found user share uh, console fonts uh, lat seven terminal and let's pick twenty eight. Okay, so. 
Up until this point, now we have uh, Debian testing installed. Uh, it does not have any um, uh, GUI. It doesn't have any uh, uh, X server or VLAN or any window manager. So now let's switch to OPT directory or option directory. Uh, before that, we need to install Git because the base does not include Git. So the installation, uh, we will be using apt package manager. For that, you type sudo apt install git and your password and hit enter. So now we have a git. Now let's uh, clone my repository using git clone https github.com my user eskomari slash feather os feather 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 os dot uh, git hit enter now if i do lslart i have the, the folder from the git repository i will change directory again well in we'll change our folder now here we have all the required components for DWM. We have DWM, we have D menu, we have the DWM status bar, status, DWM status bar, uh, then uh, the ZSH uh, syntax highlighting. Uh, also, we have uh, installation scripts, a few installation scripts, uh, ZSHRC and ZRC. So these are the files required to install DWM. Now, you could do it manually you could copy these files into no respective uh, folders or respective home directories you can compile them manually or rather doing though these things you could just do sudo install debian and enter your user for uh, for which you want to install a dwm uh, window manager and hit enter This will take a few minutes. So this will download all the prerequisite required for DWM uh, and it will also install a few additional packages like uh, Chrome, uh, Chromium uh, or uh, Cap Capton as a compositor and Nitrogen for a wallpaper and so on. And once we have all the packages and prerequisite packages, then it will compile a DWM, ST, uh, DWM status bar, and then uh, it will copy all the profiles into home directory. So everything is automated. Okay, so that's it. Now we see uh, we, we didn't have any errors and now only thing we need to do is a reboot. Okay, let's log in again. And as you can see now the uh, the, uh, now the color is changed. You can see the console has a different colors now. And we'll do the start X to start our DWM. And you can see now we have a DWM. Now the thing is this is not full screen and the reason it is not because the resolution is not set uh, appropriately. Which we can set using uh, X ran, rand R S and my screen resolution is 1680 by 1050. So the command is xrandr s and your screen resolution mine is 16, uh, 8, 6, 1680 by 1050 so that's what i entered and we have a screen appropriate screen resolution now uh, we don't have any background so that's why it's not showing so let's launch chrome uh, chromium now this version of dwm or the one which got installed from my git repository has different uh, key mappings than the standard uh, DWM key mappings. So the mod key in this case is the Windows key, 
on the keyboard and then the shortcuts are QB is for browser, QT is for terminal, something like in the Pop, Pop OS or uh, zoom in zoom out is the windows uh, uh, plus and minus so let's launch the chromium let's get a hubble image uh, is a typo it's fine uh, let's pick this galaxy we'll download it in download folders and uh, mod Q is the quit or Windows Q. Now access menu by using uh, Windows P and then we'll open Nitrogen. Go to Preferences, Add, Downloads, Select, OK. Select the picture here, go down there and then select uh, Zoom Field and Apply and condo, uh, windows q so now we have a background and this will be re restored on restart because it's already maintained in the uh, x x uh, in rc file now if i launch st you can see it, uh, it has a patch for alpha alpha and that's why you see the background and if i use windows uh, key plus then it will zoom in minus will zoom out similar also uh, these on a status bar i have pre-configured three uh, sound weather and a date and time but if you want to configure more you can configure them you know going into opt here go in yeah, dwm bar here we have file called dwm bar dot sh and down here you can add more or you can remove so in my case like i said i'm using uh, sound using pulse audio and then the weather and then the date and time but there are uh, many more things you can add like you can see it here we have um, transmission countdown spotify resources battery mail backlight and so on you can use you know any any module model from here i i do not use them i just use the basic three so that's why i have less and all the information for this video you'll find it in down below in the description thank you